Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be customizing a tote bag that I got from Michaels and I'm going to be making it into something super cute and creative for the summer. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with. In terms of Posca pens, I'm still pretty new to all of the ways that they could be used. I decided to try to use these Posca pens on the tote bag to see how it worked out. This tote bag in particular was 100% cotton, so I figured they at least stood a chance. So I started off with a circle and colored in the circle yellow. And then afterwards I decided to add a black outline around the circle just to make it stand out a little bit more against the tote bag. Maybe you've already guessed it, but I decided to do a smiley face on the front of this tote bag. I'm going to design both sides because, you know, why not be resourceful? So I start off on the front side and I'm doing a smiley face on this side. I just thought that would be really cute and kind of fun. I didn't want to do anything too serious or anything that I had to think too much about for the bag. I just wanted it to be super fun and a bag that can be carried around anywhere during the summertime. I just think it's going to be really cute for a quick bag to grab on the go. After I designed the smiley face, I wanted to give the bag a little bit more color, so I went in with a whole bunch of different colored pastel Posca pens, and I started adding in some flowers. So I just made little simple flowers, you know, just five petal flowers, nothing too complicated. Again, I just really wanted it to be super simple and cute, just give off some relaxing vibes, nothing too intense. Posca pens are acrylic paint, so if you don't have Posca pens and you want to do this, I would suggest using acrylic paint because that'll work just as well. Honestly, it might even work better. These worked really well on the fabric, but it did take a lot to get the color through and to get a nice solid color that didn't look too streaky or anything, but they worked out really well and acrylic paint would work just as well. So this is a really fun project. If you want to do it, I would suggest acrylic paint. When it comes to decorating, sometimes I don't know when to stop, so I just kept adding flowers of a whole bunch of different colors in a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes and just kept doing it until it felt like it was enough and enough for me is an explosion of color that's taking up most of the space. So I just kept on going with it to really fill in everything and to add a variety of colors. With summer right around the corner, I feel like this could be the perfect bag to just take anywhere during the summer. I can see it at the beach, I can see it at the pool, I can see it at the grocery store. I mean, I just think it's a super cute summer bag that is obviously just really easy to grab and put with anything. And it's also really big, so it can hold a lot of things, which I really like. And I like that I got to decorate it myself, and it will always remind me of this time. After I had finished filling out all of the flowers, I decided to add a little more detail, but again, I wanted to keep it super duper simple and cute and relaxed. So to add some more detail, I just decided to add dots inside of each of the flowers that kind of correlated to the color that it already was. So the blue flowers got blue dots, and then the pink flowers got a different shade of pink dots, the orange got red dots, the purple got purple dots, so it just all kind of switched around. That way all of it stayed pretty chill, but it just added an extra layer of cuteness and detail. After that, this side of the bag was completed. It's super cute, super simple, but I really like it. It's super colorful, so it'll match anything that I wear, and I can take it anywhere this summer, so I'm very excited about it. Here's how it looks, and let's move on to the other side of the bag. I wanted to use both sides so I have options, but also just to use up most of what I could. For this side of the bag, I wanted it to match the front side, but I didn't want it to be exact, I just wanted to draw inspiration from it. So I decided to use the same color palette, meaning the same Posca pens that I was using on the other side, and I first started by just making different blob type of shapes and putting them all over the area that I taped off. I wanted this side to have some crisp lines and a nice design in the middle of the bag, so that's what I started off doing at first just to fill in some shapes and create something that you'll see here in a minute. Once I had filled in 
all of the blobs of various colors, it was time to bring the designs to life. My idea for this side was I saw this kind of fun design pattern idea on Pinterest of these almost melting smiley faces. At least that's what it looks like to me. So I decided to stick with the smiley face and colorful theme and add a whole bunch of melting misshapen smiley faces onto the back of the bag. So I decided to outline each and every one and draw a face on every single blob shape. That way it went along with the front. I thought these blob little smiley faces were a really cute and super fun idea, but I also thought they were kind of scary. So let me know in the comments if you think they're more cute or more scary because I'm really not quite sure how I feel about it. I really like them with the colors, but also like they're kind of creepy in a way. So let me know what you think. I didn't put flowers on the back, however, I feel like because I used the colors that that's the part of the flowers. So I used the colors to match the flowers on the front and then the smiley faces obviously to match the smiley face. So once I'd finished coloring in all of those smiley faces and outlining all of them as neatly as I could, then it was time to unveil those clean crispy lines that we put on from the painter's tape. So this was a very satisfying moment. It looked really nice and the line stayed extra clean which I was very happy with. This is how the front turned out and the back turned out just as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know which side is your favorite and let me know if you're going to do this project.